The Wikiwachi Mermaid Show has been thrilling little girls and not so little boys for decades now. So we went behind the scenes to learn the secrets of this underwater extravaganza. Turns out being a mermaid is no walk in the park, especially with a tail for legs. Hey John, how you doing? Hi Will, how are you doing? We're here at Wikiwachi. Wikiwachi Spring State Park, that's correct. What does Wikiwachi mean? Wikiwachi is a Native American and it means winding river or little spring. It's an actual spring, isn't it? It's on a daily basis where the aquifer is 65 feet below, 117 million gallons of water each and every day come out from the aquifer, making the Wikiwachi River that you see behind me. Well, Wikiwachi Springs has been around since 1947. We're one of Florida's oldest roadside attractions. Now those mermaids can't go without breathing for a long time, so they created this apparatus. It was the founder that did it, didn't he? Correct. Newton Perry was an avid diver, and he wanted to not really put the girls on scuba gear, so he created the self-regulated breathing air hose that we still use to this day. It's very difficult to use. I tried it once, and it's just something that you just can't master it. John, you're no mermaid. Don't even pretend I'm, to be. I'm no mermaid, and I'm not even going to pretend to be one. Why no mermen, John? No mermen. We, we have a couple of male performers. They're not wearing fins. They're not wearing fins because there's not a role for one. Anything that inhabits the Wikiwachi River can actually swim into the show. Fish, turtles, otters, um, even the occasional alligator will come swim into the show. I bet the mermaids swim like frenzy right out of the water at that point. You know, they're, they're kind of used to it, but it's safe to get out of the water if there's an alligator present. Absolutely. These are the famous Wikiwachi mermaids. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are the requirements of being a mermaid besides obviously vivacious attractiveness. A lot of hard swimming, like hard work. You gotta be a good swimmer, right? We don't wear weight belts, so we have to stay at a neutral buoyancy. Yeah, tell, um, tell me how you do that. You, it's breathing, breath right? Breath control, breath control. You know, like if you exhale your air, you sink to the bottom of the pool, well, you wanna keep half of it in so you can stay right where you're supposed to be. How long have you been a mermaid? Um, on and off uh, since I was 18. And I'm 37 now, so... Wow! It's her first, first show. You're the newbie. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a little nervous? A little bit. <laughs> now, I haven't seen too many mermaids with glasses. Yeah, I'm pretty blind. You want to try them on and see how blind I am? Do you wear these underwater? No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> So once you go down that hole, you're underwater for 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 to 45 minutes. Isn't that a little cold down there? I mean, your body temperature probably lowers, huh? Yeah, my, my toes are literally white. I think I'd be nervous just dropping into a well like this, you know? You have an air hose in your hand, and there's air hoses throughout it, but it's 16 feet down and 63 feet out. Far out in our sea, the water is as blue as the loveliest cornflower and as pure as the clearest glass, and it is deep. Here dwell a strange and wondrous race of people, half human, half fish. Let's celebrate, everyone. We're not like other women, fighting traffic on the shore. Tired of going shopping, living lives that are our own. How do you do that talking in underwater? I would think the water would rush in and you'd, you know, drown. Yeah, it's a lot of practice. After a few times, you just get it. It's just like talking. You just can't inhale the water. You just, it's kind of in your mouth like this, yeah. and you're talking like that. Really, you gotta time yourself so you can get to the next breathing tube without Usually you choking or something. Too. We carry them with us. We'll carry one with them. Sometimes we drop them to do dolphins or we'll do Ferris wheels. You'll see us drop them a lot of the time, but for the majority of the time, it's in our hand. Hang on to that darn thing. That's your, <laughs> that's your lifeline. Introducing our sister, the Little Mermaid. As she nears the surface, something strange and unexpected happens. Why do you persist? 
that show involved some of the best underwater acting I've ever seen. These girls are top-notch professionals. They, they, it's it, the only underwater acting I've ever seen, John. It, well, th well, when you see others, nothing will compare. John, if somebody wants to come and enjoy the Wiki Watchy Mermaid Show, mm -hmm. where should they go? We are located just 45 minutes due north of Tampa. Let's hold our breath. Thank you.